Hi guys, this is Mustafa Ercan from Radar. In this video, I will try to explain how you can use the, our brand new feature, which is called Image Editor. Uh, to access the Image Editor, uh, first you need to create a content and I'm clicking the new post button to create a content. And uh, uh, after creating a content, as you know, uh, you can upload a media file uh, like image or video directly from your computer or you can uh, fetch a media file uh, from your uh, cloud services, uh, cloud storage services like Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. And after this point, uh, you can also use uh, image editor. And when you uh, choose this option, uh, the image editor will open. And uh, you can open an image file into your uh, image editor. For example, I'm choosing this one and uh, you can also import a second or third image onto your uh, uh, first image like this and you can move it you can resize you can uh, rotate it and if you didn't like it you can delete by clicking the uh, delete button and uh, also we have some features uh, which are located at the uh, toolbar uh, for example there's a cropping tool and when you choose uh, you can uh, enter a number uh, for cr uh, cropping size or you can choose the uh, pre uh, sets like square or uh, other aspect ratios uh, right now I'm choosing the uh, square because uh, I, I'm planning to publish this post to Instagram and I'm applying this to image. Okay, it's cropping I guess. Yeah. And uh, another feature is resize and uh, when you click this uh, button you can change the dimension like you can make it smaller and I'm clicking to apply button to make it uh, decrease the uh, image size and there's another feature uh, called filters and when you enter this set uh, you, you can see a lot of uh, photo filters here for example you can make it grayscale or you can uh, change you can invert the colors like this or you can use the sepia uh, image uh, filter yeah there are uh, a lot of options here um, right now I'm clicking to cancel uh, and another option is uh, transform you can flip your image uh, horizontally or vertically like this uh, yeah and you can apply these changes and there's another uh, tool is drawing tool and uh, it's basically a brush tool and you can choose the color uh, brush color uh, brush size like smaller or larger and uh, also you can enter your color codes here or you can choose from color palettes like this uh, right now i'm choosing this blue and also you can change the brush uh, type like regular one or uh, more graphical one uh, right now i'm choosing regular one and you can draw on to your image and you can apply after applying you can still move these graphic elements or resize them uh, or uh, rotate them and don't forget you can always place these uh, uh, graphic elements and another uh, tool is type tool uh, when you enter here uh, you can choose the font size like this one or uh, sorry font uh, face and you can uh, enter a number for font size you can choose the color of your type and when you click the add uh, it will edit on your uh, image then you can change your text like hello and uh, after applying uh, you can still uh, resize it and uh, rotate it okay uh, and
and another one is shapes. Uh, you can find uh, a lot of shapes under this set, like uh, circle or uh, triangle, like this. Okay, and you can apply this. And another uh, uh, tool is stickers, and you can find a lot of uh, stickers under this uh, set, like uh, emojis. For example, this one I'm adding and putting here. I know I'm not so creative uh, right now. And another one is frames. You can choose some uh, photo frames from here, like uh, the grunge one or uh, wooden one. Yeah, and you can apply onto your image. Uh, right now I'm canceling looking to cancel and uh, another one is uh, corners you can you can make uh, corners uh, like uh, you can apply a radius to for your uh, image corner like this and yeah and uh, last one is background you can choose a background color for your image like this one uh, yeah and don't forget, you can always take these changes like undo or redo. Yeah, like this. Okay. And when you click the uh, save button, uh, it will directly save it to your content. And if you need change something uh, or add uh, something, uh, you, can, you can click to this update button. Sorry, it's loading. Okay, and if you want to add something more, uh, you can click to this add button and you can choose image editor again. It will open uh, directly into image editor. And for example, you can add a second text with another font face. Yeah, like this. Okay, and then you can uh, uh, save it again. Yeah. Uh, that's the all about uh, image editor. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you can take benefit of this feature. If you have any suggestion or feedback, uh, please let us know. Uh, thank you for, uh, for watching. Bye bye.